Well, till now, we've been using tools, and pardon me, file, and then load. And then we'd load a, one of these test2.hs, these hs dot, eight .hs files. Let's see if we can do that manually. I think we can. I key in the colon, and then load test2.hs. And in he comes. Wow. I key in a colon and hit enter. Okay, he kicks him back out. Huh. Let's try that again. Load test2.hs. I hit enter. Now I want to run that guy in. I want to run his main function. And uh, it works. What do you know? Uh, there's another file. I think there really isn't. I'm going to make a mistake. There's another file called uh, test1. Yeah, that was it. I'm going to make a mistake. Load test1.hs. And oh, it failed and kicks me out and back into preload. Too bad. Well, I'd like to uh, get a listing of that uh, of that uh, uh, of my files. How would I do that? Well, here's how you do it: colon, and then you're going to key in the bang command and dir, and I hit enter, and oh my goodness, very hard to see. There are my files, but very hard to see. Let me change the options a little bit so that they're a bit smaller. Let's change it to 16 temporarily. Oh, and there we go. Now I can see it. It's there are my files. Inter1, Inter1A, test, test2, test3, and XYZ, which is no. Huh, so that's how you do it. So I tried to load in a file that wasn't there and it failed. Hmm. And the next thing I did was a colon, a bang command, and dir, and it executed that file. That is just amazing. Well, uh, what other cool and nifty things am I able to do? Uh, well, I I could uh, I could quit out of here using the quit command. Yes, the quit command. Uh, let me make this a bit larger now. So that we can see what I'm doing. 26. I like that size. That's good. So let's... I'm going to now key in the file. Well, let's do one more DI. Oh, we don't want to do DIRs. It'll be too small. Let me make this a um, bit smaller again. File options and make this six, uh, 14 points. Uh, and uh, temporarily, colon. Bang, and then I want a DIR to a DIR of the quotes C colon backslash directory. And I hit enter, and there are all my files. Oh my goodness. You can scroll back up and see all of them. That is absolutely incredible. Well, let me put my uh, file and then options and get this back to uh, 28 point. That's nice big. I like that. I can see very easily. And uh, next thing I want to do is I want to quit out of here. All the time I'm keying in file and then exit. I wonder if there's another way I can key in a command from the prompt that will quit me out of there. Yes, that's right. The quit command. So colon and the word quit. That should exit me out of this program completely. Let's see if that happens. Bingo, it does, and I'm kicked right out of here. Let me go get my my program back and up and running. And that is it for now. Thank you so much for listening. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.